last time you were here was in an awful place, and it was about oh, nearly a year ago. And things have improved. I mean, you see things. I know the dry bulk is not something you look at, but you look at the Baltic dry. It's improved, albeit not a, not in its heyday, but things are picking up. Yeah, things have really changed, and. Um... You look at uh, the uh, in the industry right now. The fair rates have stayed very firm, and uh, demand supply situation is uh, very um, uh, satisfactory. Well, how much of it is cyclical? How much of it has actually been a structural change as well here? Because a lot of ships have been actually well put into dry dock or actually scrapped. I, I would put sort of a combination of both uh, structural reforms, uh, partially the result of the Hanjin uh, uh, fiasco and partially because of seasonality. One thing I want to highlight is one of the, uh, the, the catalysts for, for the improvements of the uh, container shipping industry is really the uh, tremendous volume come from uh, Europe to, uh, to Asia. Uh, you look at uh, sort of year-to-year, quarter-to-quarter comparison uh, situation, uh, we're seeing 40, 50 percent surge of cargo right. volume. I mean, is that a function from Europe of, to to Asia? So is that a function of a, the Asian economy getting better, or is it actually that uh, the Europeans have become more competitive? I, I think both. The, the European currency, like the euro and uh, sterling pounds, uh, are relatively uh, uh, cheap uh, compared with U.S. dollars. So that definitely the stimulus for the exports. On the other side, the Asian economy, especially China. Uh, the, the, the consumers, the, uh, the manufacturing, all those things have really uh, come up uh, uh, quite strongly. Jerry, uh, just very quickly, last time you were on as well, it was just in the midst of Hanjin yes. in its death throes, if you will. Now, you said at the time that this was the Lehman moment in shipping. It wasn't quite as bad as that, was it? Yeah, it was bad at that point of time. Then uh, uh, things have changed fast. It shows the resilience of the industry, uh, more like the uh, American financial industry. So we'll come back and uh, we'll put things behind. Uh, right, d right now, demand and supply uh, in good place in terms of equilibrium. And uh, uh, we're looking very good for the next three, five years. You look at uh, uh, the overall uh, new vessels come in uh, for deliveries. You look at the demand average in four to five percent uh, increase on annual basis. So, so we're in a pretty good situation. Uh, you know, we become uh, much more optimistic, and uh, this turnaround has become much faster than uh, than, than we thought. And uh, it's a welcome news. The consolidation is also helping the industry quite a bit with the new alliances being formed. Industry is getting healthier. Uh, our, our customers are getting healthy, and, and uh, so are we. So uh, uh, we're quite happy about what is happening right now. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, you know, we keep our fingers crossed for next year and uh, going forward, uh, especially for the year 19.